Hello friends, once again, welcome to Tech with us. Friends, in this tutorial, I would like to highlight an specific behavior of the compiler through which you will understand whichever compiler you are using its capabilities and also as a programmer, things which you have to take care else it will lead to wrong output or even for a system crash. Let's take a simple example. In this simple C program, we have an array of length 3. Now by mistake, let's say we go beyond the array limits and try to read the value stored at the subsequent memory location. Can you guess here how the compiler is going to handle this situation? Let's take one more similar scenario. This time we have the same array, but instead of reading, we are writing to the array index which is out of bound. In both of these cases, compiler will not throw an error and it will allow to perform this operation without any warning. In the read case, it will allow to read the junk value and copy it to the variable i. And in the write case, it will copy the value of variable i to the out of bound index. So what is the learning from this exercise? When we try to access an element outside the array bound, the behavior is undefined which means that the behavior of the program is not guaranteed to be consistent or predictable. Sometimes the program may crash due to accessing some protected memory, while at other times it may appear to work fine but produces incorrect results. In any case, it's programmer's responsibility to avoid such scenarios. Now coming back to the same question. Why compiler does not detect such out of bound access and throw an error? It's because bound check is an runtime behavior. If compiler has to do this check at runtime, it can have a significant performance impact, especially in performance critical systems. By not performing bound checks, the compiler can generate more efficient code and execute it faster. Though such situation can be avoided by using good programming practices, thorough review and in-depth unit testing by using techniques such as boundary value analysis. So friends, here we come to end of this video. In this video, I would like to share this important piece of information. Do press the like button if you feel the information provided is helpful to you. It motivates me to share such information. Thanks for watching and subscribe the channel for future updates.